afternoon. It is Friday, June 11th. What do you do on a Friday? Well, of course you plant. Well, I'm glad you stopped by the garden to help me plant. We got this big open space here just behind the blueberries. If you've been watching my channel, you know if there's a space, something's got to go there. We got a space. But I also found something really cool yesterday, so I know what we're going to plant today. Now, if you remember last fall, we had a pretty decent little turmeric harvest. We've been eating on this all winter long. Some folks said I harvested too early, and these were too immature. But you know what? These are all sprouting. Notice that last night. So guess what? They're going in the garden. And this area is where we've been getting a lot of the potting soil. So this is good and rich. And as hot and humid as it is, from what I understand, turmeric really likes this kind of soil. So we're going to go ahead and put quite a bit of this in the ground. And this year, so I don't get yelled at for picking it too soon, we'll see what we get. We'll probably wait until fall. We'll probably wait until the first frost before we pull this stuff. But I mean, this is why we've been using this as potting soil. And I think this is going to be just fine for this turmeric. Let's go ahead and get some of this in the ground. I'm also going to put in some carrots. These have already started to sprout. We're going to go ahead and plant them in this deep mulch and see what we get. I'm not 100% sure how far apart we need to put them. Or even how deep we need to go. But this is what I did last year. I'm really only going to plant the ones that actually have the fingers on them. And it's sprouting here. I believe it's going to sprout all of there. And then they should make several more just like this, maybe a little bigger. What some of my contributors thought last year was they needed to be a little darker orange. They were quite bright orange, quite a little white skin on them. Now leave a comment down below if you think I'm planting these too close together. Melon right up here and it's starting to grow. But we can, I think we can vine it back behind these or vine it around these. And as they come up, they're going to get pretty good size, so I think we're okay there. Well, we still have a couple nice rhizomes that are putting on growth. But let's go ahead and cover these up, and then we'll see what we want to do next. But look how nice that soil is. Just lightly cover them. It's like everything else. Just lightly cover them. And then we're going to put... Just a little bit of this mulch back on top. We've been able to mow just a little bit. All right, we want to plant some carrots. With our heat and humidity, we've done very well. Not needing to cover the carrots. This mulch should be nice and soft and allow these to grow pretty far down. We're gonna put it on heavy like we always do. You know, we got to share some with the uh, critters. Just like always, just light soil contact. We're just going to put a very, very light bit of grass mulch. Very light little bit of mulch on the carrots. On the carrots, let's go ahead and put a nice little drink. Get them started well. Uh-oh. I told you you didn't have to trellis them all at the same time. But here's the deal, they will tell you when they're ready to be trellised. This one's leaning, so let's go ahead and give it a little support. Now we're doing two side by side, so I'm going to pull this top out just a little bit. That way we're coming in at an angle, give them a little separation. Okay, we're going to need just a little more on this one. Same thing. Just put two ends of the string together, make a loop, up through, pull snug, and it's longer. Just trim it off, thread it through. Now we're going to put this one just on the other side of the plants. I'm not sure if this is one plant that forked there in the ground, and I'm not really willing to cut it back. Come back up, make a simple knot. Which 
trim off the excess or not. Okay. Then just string around the this bottom leaf was touching the ground when we found it, so we removed that. We don't want to take any chances with disease. This leaf, if you inspect it, already has a little black spot. It's down there at the bottom. Let's go ahead and just remove it. That way we're sure. The rest of these leaves look really healthy. I'm going to go ahead and finish up this line. I'll be back in a minute. Well, there you go. There's a few more trellised up. We've got a few more to go. And I was asked about the straw. I got to go back to the feed store. Kid there said his grandpa used it on his garden. So I'm assuming that it's uh, herbicide free. But it definitely does not have any seeds of any kind in it. And it shakes out really nice. Hopefully I'm not doing a bad thing. We'll find out. how big they're getting. He's almost doubled in size. We actually have a shot at these stink bugs this year. Riley and I want to thank you for coming to the garden helping us plant turmeric. It's pretty hot out here today. I'm sweating and he's tired. We're gonna go on in the house. Leave a comment down below if you think turmeric's good for dogs. If you want to see how we planted it last year, go ahead and click that right there. If you want to see how we harvested turmeric last year, go ahead and click that right there. And until next time, take care of yourself, take care of your family, and God bless you. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden.